And now, First Warn 5 weather with meteorologist Matt Holliner. 6.42 this morning and fairly quiet weather across much of the country with the exception of the Ohio Valley and transitioning into the mid-Atlantic. Some snow showers coming there and I can tell you that, yeah, it actually is snowing because just before I left Cincinnati yesterday, you know, a few flakes of snow started coming down and I was smiling. I was glad to see snow again, but everybody else had a frown on their face. Some people there uh, not too fond of the snow. They've already had quite a bit considering how early in the season it is, and they're getting some more this morning. If you look up in Montana and North Dakota, that's actually where the cold front is. This is a little broad area of low pressure, and that's the cold front that will eventually get here, but probably not until Saturday morning. Uh, so until then, we're going to slowly warm up, but not much. We're not looking at a big warm up anytime soon because there are going to be a lot of clouds around. Now, I do think there could be some breaks in the cloud cover today, a little bit of thinning of the clouds, but not a lot. Uh, don't plan on seeing a lot of bright sunshine. You might see a little few peaks of sun coming through, but that's going to be about it. You can say that there are a lot of clouds, but even as we get into the early evening, no rain showing up. I do think it's going to be a dry day and a rather cool day. Highs are only going to reach around 70, and that means most of the day is going to be spent with temperatures in the 60s. So plan it feeling like the 60s for much of the day and dress appropriately depending on how sensitive you are to the cold. Now, I do think late tonight and early tomorrow morning, I, there could be a few sprinkles around, but not much. Notice that the future track says around 10, 11 a.m. tomorrow, a little bit of rain coming up. But not much. I do think most of the day tomorrow is going to be dry. And once again, it looks like a mostly cloudy day. I think it's going to be breezier than today. But with winds out of the southeast, it will probably end up being a little bit warmer. Despite the cloud cover, I think we'll see the mid-70s for highs tomorrow. But again, not much in the way of rain. Even 10 o'clock in the evening, a stray shower here or there. But when you jump ahead to Friday morning, it's a different story. I still don't think the best chance of rain uh, will be during the morning commute. This is 8 a.m. showing some scattered showers, mainly upper valley. But as we get to around lunchtime on Friday, the model's kind of honing in on that being the best opportunity for seeing rain. And I do think it'll be warm enough and humid enough that we could see some actual thunderstorms as well. Maybe some pockets of heavy rain, uh, but only pockets of heavy rain. And I don't think it'll last long. Already as we get later afternoon, I think the activity will be dying down a little bit. But Friday does look like our wettest day. And I don't think the rain chance will go away until probably Saturday afternoon because the front actually arrives Saturday morning. That said, when you add up all the rain we're going to see for the next three days through Saturday morning, it's really not super impressive. I think we're going to be averaging around a half an inch in the valley, which means some will see less than that, some will see a little bit more. But I do think the heaviest rain is going to stay to the north of the valley, so we're not concerned about a flood threat or a severe weather threat. 70 is going to be our high today. It's going to be mostly cloudy, not too far from a normal high temperature for this time of year. That's around 74. The winds will be 5 to 10 miles per hour, some occasional gusts of 15 or 20 miles per hour. Uh, lows tonight, not cooling down that much. 61, still mostly cloudy. I'll put in the chance for a few showers late tonight, but a lot of us probably still staying dry. And that'll probably be the case for tomorrow as well. A mostly cloudy day, a few showers maybe in the morning, a breezy day, but still pleasant with highs around 76, but a different story as we get into Friday. That's looking like a pretty wet day, and then we're going to get cooler. And temperatures are probably going to be dropping through the day, especially Saturday afternoon. And it's back to the 60s for highs. And how about overnight lows falling back into the low 40s for Monday and Tuesday morning?